Pleasure to have with us at Dias head coach Micah Shrewsbury and the Penn State Nittany Lions. Seated with us, uh, guard Andrew Funk, guard Seth Lundy, and Jalen Pickett. Coach, congratulations. Very impressive effort. Your thoughts? First of all, um, you know, we, we were – we really prepared for a, a few days in a row just because I knew how good this, this team was in Texas A&M. Um, the run that they've been on for – you know, we've played well for 10 straight games, 11 games. Like, they've played well for, like, 20 in a row. And their guards are fantastic. They rebound like crazy. So we knew how good they were. And I thought our attention to detail on defense and offense was really good. And that's the benefit of having an older group of guys that, that can execute a scouting report on offense and defense. And um, we did that. We played hard. Um, and we gave ourselves a chance to win. This time we take questions, please. To give your name, affiliation, front row. Thank you, Dave Jones from Penn Live. Jalen, um, you never know what you're going to get in the NCAA tournament. You can watch them on film, but when you got out there and started playing for a few minutes, could you get kind of a feel for who Texas A&M was, their defense, and what they were going to do? I mean, I've never seen anything like that. It was surgical. But but, <laughs> how did you do what you did? Um, yeah, we watched a lot of film. Um, they're a great basketball team, and you know, um, credit to them, they had a great season. Um, we just came out and really shared the ball, and I felt like we played Penn State basketball, and it was hard for them to kind of guard when we moved the ball and get great shots. So um, after the first couple of minutes, I felt pretty good on you know what we were doing offensively, especially when people are shooting from deep, making a lot of threes. Other questions. We have a Zoom call. We have a question from David Melandra. David, when you're ready. Uh, David Melandra with Sports Talk Philly. Question for the players. How did, can you just talk about your guys' three-point shooting tonight? It seemed like Texas a and did not have an answer for you guys. We're starting with Andrew, work our way through Seth, and then Jalen. Uh, yeah, I think it kind of goes back to what Jalen just said with, you know, how, how much of a team basketball we, we played and, and our focus on sharing the ball. Uh, with, with a guy like Pickett, he commands a lot of attention and uh, the way that we were able to play off of him and that, uh, you know, we've been kind of doing all year uh, really, you know, came to fruition tonight. Yeah, uh, I feel like we did a great job with finding the open man. And um, uh, credit to Texas and them defense, like they fly around, they trap the box really hard, and I feel like, when you were just moving the ball real well and fast, uh, the ball moved faster than defense, so we just find open people. Um, yeah, like like credit to these guys. I mean, you know, we're a three-point shooting team. We take a lot of threes, um, and, you know, it kind of sparks us offensively and defensively, so um, we're going to keep shooting them. We have a question on back to the front. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. Uh, this question's for Andrew, um, Andrew Greg Eckman for AP Broadcast, and I'm sure you've heard it around campus a few times, but uh, first win in the NCAA tournament since 2001, what does that mean to you? Um, honestly, it means a lot, and it probably means more than people think because I've only been here for one year, but like, uh, obviously I went to Bucknell, and, and Penn State has had a big big time Philly pipeline going for a, a long time, and you know I used to play against guys like Tone Carr and Lamar Stevens and Azir Bostic, so... Although I wasn't a direct fan of, of the team and of the program, like I, I watched a lot uh, of those guys, and so uh, to be able to come here uh, and do this, you know, with these with this group of guys, it's just it's really special, and uh, you know I'm I'm really happy to be doing it with, uh, alongside the group of guys that we have. We're gonna stay on your side on the left, and then we're we'll go these two on the aisle. Dave Jones from Penn Live, Andrew, for the layman and for someone who doesn't play basketball. Describe what it's like to make the first one and then make the second one for somebody like you. What what happens? Um, yeah, it uh, the the room opens up a little bit for sure. Um, you know, it kind of gets to a point, especially with the offense that we play in. Like I know I'm going to get a lot of shots at, at, like from three, and you know when those first two go in, you know you, you kind of start hunting them a little bit, and uh, it, it, you just get into a rhythm, especially in a game like that where our offense is just flowing the way it is. Um, so yeah, well, just to you know keep it short, the rim opens up a lot, and you, you get a lot of confidence flowing. It feels good. On the back row on the aisle, then we'll come up to you, sir, in the front. 
Yeah, uh, Eric Olson uh, with the Associated Press. Yeah, Jalen, could you comment on Andrew's shooting tonight? Uh, I mean, uh, what is it? Uh, so you had eight tonight, eight threes. So uh, as you were watching that unfold from your spot, Jalen, what, what were you thinking? Yeah, he's okay. He's an okay shooter. I mean, he's all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, he puts in a lot of work in his sh jump shot. You know, he's always in there. Um, getting extra reps, he's on the gun a lot. So Andrew's a great shooter, and you know when he gets it going like that, we got to find him. And I think we did a great job with that tonight. Um, Andrew, this one's for you. Um, I don't know if you noticed tonight you were number seven on trending on Twitter at one point. Um, you shot the lights off tonight. Um, is that something you envisioned when you came to Penn State to be seen on a national stage like this? Um, no, not really. To be honest, I, I, I envisioned us getting here to here uh, to, you know to this point and, and winning a lot of games. Um, but you know that's that's pretty cool, and I'm glad to see like that that's cool for you know me, but for this program, like the, it deserves all the attention that that we're get, we're getting and we're going to continue to get. Um, so it means a lot, and uh, you know I'm I'm really happy to be to be doing it for for the, for this uh, university and program. We're going to go back to Zoom, then we'll get you two up front again. We have a question from Anderly Penwell. Anderly, when you're ready. Hey, Andrew. Um, like we said, you've kind of been going a bit viral on Twitter right now, uh, quite a lot of memes. Um, as you sit up there right now, is this something that to have the success at this stage in the tournament, like the magic of March, is this something you ever could have, like, of when you came to Penn State and just as a basketball player what's what's the feeling right now um yeah it's a lot of emotions uh more so just happiness like you know I guess the the Twitter stuff is cool I guess you know they can do some cool things with my last name some puns I guess but um you know it, it's it's fun like you said you you grow up watching this tournament and you know missing out on it and, you know my four years at Bucknell uh was a big part of why I decided to come here and help this team get here so to see it kind of all come to fruition uh you know it's it's really hard to put into words to be honest okay we got a question in the back and I promise we'll get you up front yeah Kirk Bowles from the Austin American Statesman uh for Jalen uh one have you seen Texas play at all do you have any impressions of them and and why the heck are you guys a 10 seed um i don't know too much about the committee and how they rank the seeds or anything like that but um uh we watched texas a little bit today right before our game um marcus carr is a really good guard and texas has been good all year so i haven't seen too much of them but we're gonna watch some film on them um we just know they're a really good team so it should be a fun game come saturday Adam Kilgore with the Washington Post. Uh, Micah, how, how challenging do you suspect it would be uh, to prepare for your team in a tournament setting just based on, on the uniqueness of your offense and you know, limited time and a lot of unfamiliar uh, opponents? Um, yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it would be difficult um, you know, because we, uh, we're just unique in how we play. Um, we're unique in how we try and attack. Um, you could you could see some stuff or see us do some stuff on a Monday game, and then you might not see it for like two or three weeks, and then we come back to it later on. Or we might change a little bit here or there. That's just having these guys who are really good on the fly uh, at changing some things and adjusting. And... Um, you know that's that's the that's the fun part of of coaching these guys, right? Like, I got three guys here sitting here. There's a lot more in the locker room, but these three guys can play off of each other and understand what each other's doing at any point in time, and then break something off and go to something else. So, um, you know, we we prepare for each game, and um, they really focus on what we're trying to do. And uh, it's it's a I'm having a blast coaching them. Go ahead, sir. Going right off that idea of how much fun you're having coaching these guys, Micah, what does it mean to you to be able to make history with this group of seniors that's, you know, played so many games together? I'm so, first of all, I'm like so happy for Seth and Miles um, because of everything that happened um, to them after the 2020 season and the success that they were having and then not getting a chance to play in the tournament. 
Um, and then those guys stuck it out here. They stuck it out here. And, like, I'm happy for those guys because now they're getting to experience that. Um, but, you know, Pickett decided to, to come and play for us. And, you know, I'd never coached a game before in my life. And, um, you know, we talked about this. We talked about this vision. Same with Funk, same with Cam. We talked about the same with those freshmen. We talked about this vision of doing this. And um, it's all coming to, coming to fruition for us. We're going to go in the front, then we're we'll switch over to the right side and then finish up with a Zoom call. Uh, Dave Jones from Penn Live. Jalen, um, Buzz Williams gave you a lot of compliments a few minutes ago. And w what he said was that you made the right decision immediately. You didn't just make the right decision. You made it in a split second. Do you ever feel like it, and there was a point out there between 21-15 and 38-22, the end of the first half, where you just were, it was like an orchestra leader. Do you, do you feel like that ever? Do you, you feel like you're, you're the maestro? Um, yeah, you know, I have the ball in my hands a lot, and I definitely ask my teammates on the court, what do they see, where they're open at all the time. You know, sometimes they tell me if they're open or not with, you know, just voluntarily. But, you know, it's great the communication we have. And then when Coach Shrews, you know, draws up a play, I see the reads, like, immediately as soon as they come off. Like, I know what I'm looking at. I know what should happen. So just trying to find people and get the ball out quick so it's on time and on target so it's easy for them to, you know, catch and shoot or for Kevin to get a dunk or something like that. Go name and affiliation. Oh, uh, Connor Kraus, Onward State. Mike, how rewarding is it to go from a team last year that could barely score 60 points per game in conference to a team that shot 60% from three against Texas A&M? Yeah, and, um, you know, how, how we had to put our team together last year. We just tried to piece it together, and, and these guys have never got a chance to to play with each other or learn how to play off of each other, right? And I didn't even know Pickett could post until, like, January or February <laughs> last year. But um, – and also, like, we just – like, we guarded people. That was our thing last year. We could really guard people, and probably because that's all we did in the summer and the fall and then practice all the time. Um, but this group is different. This group is different, and now we're figuring out different ways. So um, it's just weapons. It's just weapons. Like, you know, tonight was Funk's night uh, where he got it going. But, like, Seth has had those games, and he's going to have them for us here in this tournament, right? Like, Pickett has those games. Cam's had those games. Other guys, Miles, other guys have stepped up. We just have a lot of weapons that we kind of go to and play off of and, and keep mixing up. And I think that makes us hard to guard. Um, it makes, you know, it makes people think I'm a really good coach because I got really good players sitting next to me. Okay, we'll go to the Zoom call. We have a question from David Melandra. David, when you're ready. This is for uh, Coach uh for head coach, uh, how do you think you how do you think your team has handled the distraction of taking part in the NCAA tournament for the first time? And can you also discuss about the quick turnaround, get ready to play Texas on Saturday? I don't I don't think there has been a distraction about playing in the tournament. I think they've all they're all really excited to be here, um, but I wanted them to enjoy it. I wanted them to enjoy it. Like this is um, this is fun. This is fun. This is fun for them. They're getting a chance to be here and play and experience this whole thing. Like, let's experience it. Let, let's have fun. It's fun seeing all the Penn Staters that showed up and were cheering for us. But, like, we want to go on a run and on a ride, and uh, we're having a blast. So I don't think they're distracted at all based on how we prepared for this game. Um, it is a quick turnaround, and we're getting ready for a, an unbelievable opponent who has had a great year. Um, so we got to do it again. We got to trust our system and how we play and what we do. And then we got to prepare the same exact way, learn from film, watch film, and then figure out a game plan and then go execute it again. Penn State will play Texas at 645. Congratulations again. Thank you, and we'll see our student athletes for tomorrow's press conference, which will start at 355, followed by uh, Coach Shrewsbury. Thank you very much. Thank you.